Hello, my name is Bulbasaur, and today I will be showing you guys my vinyl record collection. I've tried to film this video like 100 times already, so I feel like I talk too much. So I'm just gonna make it snappy. I started collecting records like a couple years ago when I first got my first job. The first thing I purchased was this record player. It's a Victrola. It's not good. I wouldn't recommend it. It It's cheap. So if you want something that can play records, guess, but it's not actually good for your records. If you use that, I heard it damages it. So I don't use it often. I do use it sometimes, but again, not often. And I obviously, with a job, I actually bought records. And I will be showing you guys about half of my collection today. Another half some other day. So today will be like eight records, I think. And yeah, I'll try to make this quick. So my goal is just to show off the packaging. All these records are amazing to me. I love every single one of them. And the first one we're gonna start with is, it's from my favorite artist of all time. We're starting off with Ye. His last solo project, unless Jesus is King dropped by the time I uh, dropped this album, uh, this video. Here's the back. It's only seven tracks. Um, the packaging isn't crazy. White sleeve. As you can see, the middle of the record is green. Let me show you guys that. It's like not, nothing special. Yeah, this album dropped last year. It doesn't get its due diligence. I, I personally love it. A lot of people don't. And a lot of people say it's his worst project, which maybe it is, but it's still pretty good. Only seven tracks. Um, the best songs in the album are probably I Thought About Killing You, Ghost Town, and Violent Crimes. But check out the whole thing. It's just seven tracks, like 20 minutes. Check it out now. Next one is kind of a Kanye album as well. It's Kids See Ghosts by Kid see ghosts. Wow, Kanye. Kid Cudi, this is Beck. Making a phenomenal record together. The artist that made this is Takashi Murakami. I I live in Southern California, so I've been to a museum in LA called The Broad, which has a bunch of his artwork, which is cool. You guys should check out his Instagram. I'll link that in the description. I'll also link down all the uh, albums in the description, like where you can buy them on Amazon in case you want to buy them. It's not sponsored, obviously. I have like two subscribers. Uh, it comes with this little sheet. Um, this has just art and some legal stuff. This has, this side has the credits, some more art. The record comes in the clear sleeve, so I'm not even gonna take it out. Just standard black, white middle. It, it looks nice. It looks classy. So yeah, this album is phenomenal. If you haven't checked it out, do yourself a favor and check it out. It's also only seven tracks, so what is there to lose? And I would say my favorite, my three favorite tracks from this album, but it's truly all of them. So do check out this album. Feel the love, fire, fourth dimension, free, reborn, kissy ghost, ink, hoodie montage, are all perfect. So that was the little Kanye segment. Now to some other albums we've got here. It's probably my favorite album from last year. I have a lot of albums from 2018. So, and this is probably my favorite one of all of them. And that's Taboo by Denzel Curry. That's the front. Are you ready for the back? It's a kind of scary. Boop. Wow, bloody. It's incredible. It comes with a poster. I'm not gonna pull it out now, but you're seeing it while I'm talking. The 
sleeve is cool. It has this fo photo of Denzel. And the back is a bunch of production, I mean, a bunch of credits and uh, the track title. Telling you which side has which songs. And the coolest part about this album is. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Look at that. I think they called it Red Slushy. It looks pretty red on camera, but it looks pink to me. It has like some white swirls, which is pretty cool. Very slushy ish. Slushy -ish. This banger that just how much life sucks, man. Depending on your choices, it might make it suck even more. The songs I would recommend Taboo, Black Balloons, Sumo. Super Saiyan Superman, Sirens, Cloud Cobain, Vengeance, and Black Metal Ter Terrorists are probably my favorite tracks on the album. Now sticking with our theme of 2018 music, we've got here the best boy band since One Direction, Brockhampton. Wow. And probably the ugliest cover art <laughs> ever. This is the front, here's the back. Are you ready for this? There's a gatefold. Wah, wah. Here it is. Oh, it shows. It has this. I kind of want to say poster, even though it's not a poster. Like one side has the boys, the other side has Merlin looking at a different direction. And on the inside, there's a bunch of credits with. Just disgusting, a disgusting colorway. Not gonna lie, we got a cover part because that is the code. Uh, I don't even know if yeah, it's showing. Yeah, I'm covering this part because that's the code for the album download that I haven't done and kind of want to get it. So sorry, guys, but it's not for you. That's that. The record itself comes in white sleeves so nothing crazy but there's a but let me get it oh are you ready for this i'm getting it out oh 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 wait where is it where is it what what there's just a floating circle no it's not a floating circle the record is clear gasp it's a clear vinyl record. It's pretty dope, if I do say so myself. Yeah, this was their first album after the departure of Amir. It's a, a slight step back, um, but I do enjoy the album. It's not as good as any of their Saturation albums or Ginger. Iridescence walked so Ginger could run. This is how I like to describe it, but yeah. Good record overall uh, songs that I like. Uh, New Orleans, Wait, District, Jover, Tanya in Fabric. Next album, not 2018, what? 2016. It is not even a hip hop album, it's an alternative RB album. Childish Gambino ah! with Awakened by Love. So beautiful. Look at this cover art. So beautiful. The back here. So elegant. This album itself is elegant. Kind of creepy, but kind of cool. The record sleeve right here. And here's um, the credits to every song. Kind of like a track list. Album itself, black, blue metal, if you cared. I love this album so much. I think it's his best work. Even though a lot of people say the uh, internet is, I have to disagree. I think this is clearly his best work. It's just very different and I like different. And who knew that man could sing like that? Oh, best tracks from the album. I find it easier if I have the track list in front of me. Uh, me and your mama, for sure. Boogeyman is fun. I like Boogeyman. Redbone, of course. California, very quirky, <laughs> very different, very cool, in my opinion. Terrified, Baby Boy, my favorite 
song of the album. Ugh. Beautiful. And Stand Tall. Those are my favorite songs from the album. This album is so cinematic. It's so grand. Like who knew Childish Gambino could do this? Moi. Perfecto. Next album from one of my favorite rappers in the game today. You know, I had to do it. Flower Boy. Moi. One of my favorite rap albums of all time. And look at how beautiful the cover art is. That's the front. Here's the back. Get ready because oh boy, that's a big one. And it's a gatefold done very it's it's done in a very Tyler fashion. Um put this part close up if you want to read it. Like pause and you can read it. Comes with a poster. I'm not gonna pull it out, but you know it's it's being shown as I speak. <laughs> Magic of editing. The sleeves aren't nothing special, they're white. The records are nothing special. Comes it's standard black. The middle, like one side has a pink B. One record has a pink middle with a B. That's other side, blue middle with a B. So I'm not even gonna bother taking it out because it's just standard black. There is a colored vinyl for that record, but I don't have it. It was probably a limited edition when it first came out and I got into music pretty late, so I don't have it. But amazing tr album. It's his first album where he just really went deep into talking about himself. And I really appreciate that a lot because his earlier work, although there were some high points in it, but, uh, there's a lot of low points as well. So my favorite tracks from Flower Boy is probably Forward. Where the flowers be, why not? See you again, of course, who that boy. Garden Shed, I Ain't Got Time, Boredom as well. 911 slash um, Mr. Lonely in November, basically the whole thing. I don't know why I've been putting them on the floor. Let me put these right here. So, departure from rap and hip hop. Even though what I'm about to talk about has a blend of that. I will be talking about my favorite band, or one of my favorite bands, Gorillaz. This one, this one's like my least favorite, but I still have to get it. I still have to support my boys and it all. Humans by Gorillaz. Front, back, that's the track list right there. Gatefold. Boom. That's the rest of the game. Kind of disappointed with the artwork because most record, uh, most Gorilla final records come with a bunch of artwork and I feel like doing one panel thing is wasting a lot of room for artwork but it is a cool idea i guess it comes with cool sleeves as well here's one of them and got like track lists and credits records are black but they do have these cool images on them hey you can see the camera again not my favorite girls album but there are a lot of bangers in this one. Here's the other sleeve. Again, the gorillas have typically have like the coolest packaging uh, trackless credits. So that's why I was kind of disappointed with this one, but it's, it's still nice. They put, still put it in effort. This noodle looking adorable. Russ Russell looking menacing like always. Not my favorite Gorillaz album, but again, so many bangers. Ascension featuring Ben Staples, uh, Saturn Spars featuring Pop Can, Moments featuring De La Soul, uh, Submission featuring Danny Brown and Kalela, I hope I pronounced it correctly, Andromeda, one of my favorite Gorillaz songs, uh, featuring Dram, Busted in Blue, Let Me Out featuring Mavis Staples and Pusha T, Hallelujah Money featuring 
Benjamin Clementine, I forgot one, Charger featuring Grace Jones. And Ticker Tape, even though it's not on the vinyl record for some reason, it is on the, the album. And I like that song a lot. Last album I will be showing you guys today is my favorite Gorillaz album. It's kind of a hard find at first. I had to order it from this one shop from Ohio because it was like exclusive. You couldn't get it anywhere, but they eventually re-released it. So I lost its special meaning to me, but I'm still super happy I have this because this is one of my favorite records of all time and definitely my favorite Gorillaz album, Demon Days iconic iconic cover art front back with trackless noodle with the monkey the gatefold which are but with a bunch of artwork for each song which i find very cool the sleeves have artwork you know it's basically just the cover but on the record it's like alternate version of them it's like a demonic version of the guys so that was 2d here's murdoch here's the other sleeve noodle russell and now the alternative version that's on the record noodle russell amazing album from a weird band but I totally would recommend this album to anybody uh, songs I would recommend Last Living Souls Kids with Guns Dirty Harry Feel Good Inc El Mañana November Has Come Dare Don't Get Lost in Heaven and Demon Days it's a perfect album I love how they encapsulated the feeling of being in a Armageddon, being in a world that's being taken over. It's very unique and we, we need to support artists that are trying to do things different, you know? Those are all the albums I'll be showing today. I will be showing you guys the rest of my collection another day. Yeah, so I'll come when it comes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I made this faster, snappier, so I hope you guys got to learn more about the packaging of these records. I hope you guys want to buy them. Hopefully my faster delivery made you guys want to... That was what I was afraid of the first time. Like the first time I recorded myself showing you guys my entire collection, I wasn't even close to being done editing but I had like 40 minutes of footage to show it was a lot it was crazy but I hope just me showing you guys everything in a fast manner but still being detailed does help you guys want to purchase these albums yourself again links in the description not sponsored but if you want to check them out check them out so yeah I will probably be doing more music related videos on this channel like reacting to them reviewing them more final record collection videos plus unboxing videos i have a couple planned out so just need to wait till they come in so yeah that i hope i hope that sounds good all right this is i forgot what i named myself bulbasaur i, th I think so this has been bulbasaur with a vinyl record collection video i hope you enjoyed if you did like the video if you want i don't know i'm not your mom i can't tell you what to do but if you want like the video comment which album i should get next which album out of these did you like the most let's, let's have a conversation and if you want me to do more music related videos and you're excited for them subscribe because you'll be able to get those videos when you get them i i'm busy very busy i work and go to school I'm third year in college so i'm not gonna be consistent but 
subscribe if you want a nice little surprise once in a while. All right, love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Ma, 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 ma. Pachamari, do you have anything to say? You speak in the language of gods. Thank you. All right, signing off. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, bye bye, everybody. Oh, goodbye. Oh, it's turning black. It's getting dark in here. Why is it so dark? I'm kind of scared. Oh.